Belize's economy declines for a fourth time in a row, but this most recent decline in the first quarter of this year is the first decline of a first quarter since 2014. According to the SIB, the overall production of goods and services fell by 4.5% in the first three months of this year when compared to the same period last year. The total value of goods and services fell by $33.4 million across all sectors, which resulted largely from drought and COVID-19 restrictions. In the primary sector, agriculture, hunting and forestry contracted, as well as fishing. In the secondary industry, production outputs fell by 13% overall, recording declines in manufacturing, electricity and water, as well as construction. In terms of agriculture, banana output decreased marginally by 0.3% from 26.3 thousand metric tons in the first quarter of 2019 to 26.2 thousand metric tons in the first quarter of 2020, as the industry tried to recover from low production figures during 2019 due to unfavorable weather conditions. In the case of sugarcane production, dry weather resulted in underdeveloped sugarcane. This decreased sugarcane deliveries by 20.7% from 760.8 thousand metric tons delivered in quarter one of 2019 to 602.9 thousand metric tons delivered in quarter one of 2020. Since 2015, citrus fruit production has been steadily declining during the months of January to March. In 2020, production declined by 3.7% or 2.2 thousand metric tons when compared to quarter one of 2019. Due to unfavorable weather conditions, the fruit was not ready for harvest and will mature later in the season. Within the manufacturing and mining industry, sugar production suffered from a decline in sugarcane delivery. Also, increased mud levels in the cane resulted in a slower grinding rate which then requires more effort to extract sugar. This, coupled with stoppage for factory maintenance, contributed to decreased sugar production. Sugar production in the first quarter of 2020 stood at 55.3 thousand metric tons, compared to 2019, where 84.5 thousand metric tons of sugar was produced. Beverage production declined by 1.2%. This came as a result of a 4.6% increase in soft drink production and a 4.4% decline in beer production during the period. In trade, imports are down for January to April of 2020 by $14.5 million or 2.4% for the same period of 2019. The SIB reports that for April of this year alone, Belize imported $102.6 million in goods which is $44.8 million or 34% less for the same month of last year. Exports in January to April of 2020 were $110.1 million, down by $30.3 million or 30.3% for the same period. In April, the exports stood at $47.6 million, which represents a decrease of 2.7%. Again, COVID-19 and the drought were major factors in the movement of merchandise. A substantial decline in fuel expenditure in April of this year was the main reason for this downturn in imports. The mineral fuels and lubricants category, which consists all of our major fuels, including premium, regular, diesel, and kerosene, a category which accounts for 13% of all imports, fell considerably by $23 million 73.6 million over the four-month period, a drop due almost entirely to April's plunge in fuel imports. One should note that notwithstanding the current lower world market prices for fuel, a decline of this magnitude was the direct impact of COVID-19. For in April of this year, where Belizeans were at their least mobile, Due to restricted movements in accordance with the state of emergency, only a small shipment of regular fuel was imported into the country, as the demand for fuel by local consumers simply was not there. Chemical products, which accounted for 10% of all imports, rose by $3.3 million to $56.5 million, as the period saw boosted imports of fertilizers, 
along with hand sanitizers and disinfectants, the latter most likely linked to the demand of a new COVID-19 reality. We observed that decreased earnings from mainly sugar, citrus products, and crude petroleum led to this decline over the period. For whereas we had slightly improved earnings coming from bananas and marine products, along with marked increases in the sales of red kidney beans and molasses, these gains were not enough to offset the downturn in overall export earnings. Our top export sugar experienced the greatest loss over the four-month period, with earnings from sugar falling substantially by 41%, or $18.7 million to $26.4 million, as exported quantities of this commodity dropped by more than a half due to the impact of last year's drought on our sugar cane. Earnings from citrus products went down by almost 37%, or $9.2 million to $15.9 million, as the country exported smaller quantities of mainly orange concentrate, grapefruit concentrate, and grapefruit oil. Furthermore, having had no shipments of crude petroleum since the start of this year, earnings from this commodity declined by $6 million, which was the value of one shipment of crude petroleum which was exported in January of last year. Consumer prices remained largely the same for April of this year when compared to prices for goods and services in April 2019. There is a mere 0.02% decrease from April of last year to this year's April. A closer look at the figures show that transportation costs were down, but other prices were up. Looking at the major categories affecting the inflation rate, the wholesale water, electricity, gas, and other fuel had an increase of 0.8%. The food and non-alcoholic beverages category had a decrease of 0.5%. The transport category had a decrease of 0.9%. And now I must say that the transport category was the main category exerting downward pressure on the overall consumer price index. And for the purpose of this presentation, we grouped the remaining goods and services into the all other categories of goods and services, which had an increase of 0.2%. Now that we have mentioned the four major categories affecting the inflation rate, it can be clearly seen that the decrease in the transport category was partially offset by the increase in the housing, water, electricity, gas, and other fuel. And the decrease in the food and non-alcoholic beverages category was partially balanced by the all other categories of goods and services, which had a decrease of 0.2%. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.